there is a lot of um, lack of knowledge or there is a huge lack of knowledge both from the general population not understanding that uh, men can have breast cancer as well but also in the health professional population and that leads uh, to delay in diagnosis and therefore these cases are much more frequently diagnosed at advanced stages with implications in uh, the prognosis and the survival. We also saw in our retrospective series and we saw also again uh, distressfully in our prospective series that the quality of care for male patients is actually inferior globally speaking uh, re when compared with female so what do I mean by that so um, male breast cancer is almost always an ER positive disease so almost um, uh, almost all cases are ER positive disease and yet when we see at the percentage of patients who receive endocrine therapy that does not go abo above 70 percent so there is clearly about 20 25 percent of patients who have ER positive disease but do not receive endocrine therapy and we need to dig a little bit further to understand why and the same happens with radiation therapy uh, so following the indications extrapolated from female breast cancer, the percentage of men who should be receiving radiation is um, higher than what actually ex uh, is happening. So this, these are important conclusions because it reinforces the need for education, the need to develop specific guidelines that, so that the quality of care can improve.